just in case any of you felt the need to challenge. Josh Fierstein here. You know, a lot of people have asked me, how is it that you can believe in a God that you've never seen? Well, the reality is we believe in things that we've never seen all the time. I can walk through a gallery of art, and even though I didn't see the painter paint the painting, even though I may not be there to shake his hand, the reality is he exists, and I have... That's not as ridiculous as saying there's a floating man in the sky who created the entire universe. A painting is not the entire universe, Josh. Proof, because I look at his art. I look at his paintings the same way that a hunter can be tracking a deer or a bear. And even though he's never seen it and laid eyes on it, the, he's seen its footprints. He's seen its... Well, he has proof. We don't have footprints of God. We don't have tracks for God. We don't have shit that came from God to prove that he is there. Droppings, it's evidence that it's been there. When I look around at other human beings and I look at creation, it's proof to me that there is a creator, the same way that art is proof that there is an artist. You know, it is... Well, of course there's art that there is a... that there's art that is proof that there is an artist. Because it's art. It's drawn. It's a physical thing. God <laughs> apparently isn't physical. Apparently. Is that we believe in things that we don't see every single day, whether it's heat. Well, we feel heat, but we can't see it. Whether it because heat comes from the sun and it's a physical force, just like vibrations from your voice, like I said in the last video. It's gravity. Well, we feel the effects of it, but we've never been able to see gravity. The reality is that we believe... Well, it's because gravity is proven to exist. I mean, how else do you explain things following? How do you ex... How, how, how else do you explain... My brain cells falling out of my ears as I listen to you speak. Even it. Why? Because we've experienced it and we've felt it. We haven't experienced God. We haven't felt God. The same way that millions and millions, if not billions of people around this world have felt and experienced God. That's why they can say that they can believe in him. And it isn't. They can say that they can be they can believe in him because millions of people with the ability to lie, with the ability to misconstrue an illusion. You're the type of guy that would go out into a desert for a year and whenever you started to get mirages, you would say, I am getting messages from God. Make us better than an atheist who doesn't believe in a God, but yet the atheist cannot even claim to possess the totality of truth. And so... I can't claim to possess the totality of truth. But the burden of proof lies not with the one making the claim, but the one denying it. And here I am, I'm the one making the claim that God doesn't exist, and you're the one trying to deny that opinion. Do I, I don't need proof. This is me just shooting down your proof, because if you can't disprove it, you can't prove it either. How can they say that he doesn't exist? For there is... I can't say that he doesn't exist. I, I can just say that you can't prove that he does exist. There's no proof that he doesn't, and yet my experience is proof enough to me that he does. That doesn't make... Your experience? <laughs> you are a rich motherfucker, and that's your only influence. Your only influence is being able to say, I have money, and I believe in God me better than an atheist it simply means that i've had an experience that he hasn't had the same way that maybe i could have went to disneyland and experienced disneyland while maybe they haven't it doesn't make somebody better it just means that they've had an experience and shared something that somebody else hasn't that then why do you act so better 
And what experience? Please describe your experience. What did he look like? What did he feel like, as you say? That's why I'm here today to tell you, if you've never felt God, well, now's the time. The Bible says that he's as close as the mention of his name, and there's literally billions of people around the world that would agree right now with me that they've experienced his love and his mercy and his grace, and maybe right now... I may say billion, not billions, just considering there's so many different religions, and there aren't even a billion people in America, and the primary religion here may be religions that believe in God. But that doesn't mean that billions believe in him. Because as I said, there aren't even a billion people in America. There, are, there aren't even a billion people in the UK. And there aren't even a billion people in any country where the primary, primary religion is a religion that believes in a, in a singular God. Or the same one we believe in, at least. Oh, it's your opportunity too. So I challenge you, no matter where you're at, or maybe today, so tonight, sometime in the privacy of your own home or wherever you may be, I challenge you to simply ask God to show himself to you. Maybe not in a visible manifestation, but to, but to make you feel something you've never felt before. I promise. A small loan of a million dollars. The same way that it changed. <laughs> this is my notification tone, sorry. <laughs> it, it still sounded smarter than what he's saying, so we'll go on. Mine. God bless you. Please take a moment and click share on the side or the bottom of this. There's somebody in your timeline, your news feed, or your friends list that needs to hear this. Go away. Um, who else? That guy's smart, but. This one. It's just gonna say the same thing the first guy said, the guy from the first video. Um, he's gonna say that there are exact mathematical calculations, but I'm going to I'm just going to reply. It is physically impossible for the universe to cease to exist. No matter how it was created, it is physically impossible for the universe to cease to exist. It is physically impossible for there to be nothing. Because if there was nothing, there would be no nothing. Get it? I don't. And that's because it's impossible. 